from out of nowhere, this detective rouses me. I'm trying to be cool. But I figure the guy's in speed or something. Why do you think that? Because before I'm halfway into my act, he puts his piece here. He asked me, did I kill the fat cop? I don't say anything. I hear the hammer go back. Click. Click. No bruises or cuts, no way to verify it. You just spilled your guts. You know how to read a rap sheet, don't you? Five arrests, three convictions. So you're a loser, so? So, no guilty, please. Two years ago, I got popped in Jersey. Missing semi-trailer full of microwaves. The sergeant questions me with a cigar. I didn't talk then either. But this sound, and that sound, The guy was brought in. Sergeant Serretta Mirandized him. He duly confessed. That doesn't undo the damage. What damage? You were there yourself for crying out loud. You see anything screwy? Not in the interrogation room. Can I cut in on this tap dance? We're talking about the alley, right? What's the difference? You have a signed confession. I get the feeling we're not getting the whole truth. Well, Mike, well, what? I asked the guy about Max, he blurted it out. Uh, did you help him? Did you? What I am asking you, detective, is did you threaten Mr. Magadan in order to obtain information? I pressured him, okay? Mike, what the hell is this? You expect me to sit in my ass while my partner's killer walks around free? Either way, that is exactly what is going to happen. Because if the first confession is coerced, then so is the second and the third no matter how many times you Mirandize the suspect. Coercion is a judgment call, Stone. My guy never laid a glove on the son of a bitch. That doesn't matter. If he coerced the first confession, it is still fruit of the poisonous tree. Oh, what fruit? Was it some stupid technicality? Perhaps you can explain the concept here, man, so they don't let another cop cut a walk. You know, I, I doubt if Max Grevy would have considered it a technicality. <laughs> 